Hey, what's going on everybody? Matt here from Anchor Down Gaming coming at you again with another awesome video. Tonight we are going to be talking about not Nintendo Direct predictions, because that's what I talked about in my video last night. No, tonight we are going to talk about my Nintendo Direct wish list. So this is going to cover five games that if they came to a Nintendo Direct, it would basically be my dream Direct come true. So this is five games that I want more than anything to see in this Nintendo Direct. Let's get right into it. Alright, so first up on this list, above all, is a new 3D Donkey Kong game. I have been wanting a new 3D Donkey Kong game since Donkey Kong 64 released. That was one of my favorite games on the Nintendo 64. I loved the you know, semi-open world aspect to it, and almost like the Mario style that it had, where you gotta go into the levels and collect the items and whatnot. Uh, the boss battles were great, the character variety was great, the powers and upgrades that you got were great. I liked the multiplayer on it. I remember spending countless hours with my friends and my brother and his friends and whatnot playing that game as a kid on four player and you know shooting the barrel guns and whatnot and it was just so awesome and i think that if we got a new 3d donkey kong game it could have some serious potential now some people might not agree with this but i've always kind of thought it would be cool if it was made by ubisoft mainly just because they did such a good job with mario plus rabbits kingdom battle and if they made a big huge open world donkey kong adventure where you're swinging on vines and shooting through barrels and setting barrels up and shooting through them and you know slipping on bananas and collecting bananas and you know fighting the alligators and whatnot and king karul it would just be so awesome so that's why a new donkey kong game is my number one pick for what i want from this wish list nintendo direct video number two for my nintendo direct wish list is metroid prime trilogy now i've been a pretty big fan of metroid prime ever since metroid prime 1 first came out on the gamecube I remember playing it, uh, my cousins used to have it and I used to borrow it from them and it was like one of the hardest games ever because I was only like 8 years old when the GameCube first came out but I was playing Metroid Prime back then. Eventually I reached a point where I beat it and then it became one of my favorite FPS games of all time. The exploration was amazing in it and I am extremely excited for Metroid Prime 4. Now the biggest reason why I want Metroid Prime Trilogy to come to Switch though is because I've only beat Metroid Prime 1, I've partially played Metroid Prime 2 uh, Echoes and I've never played Metroid Prime 3 Corruption. So yes I'm a big Metroid fan, have I played all the games? No. There's other games that were released at the time and I was you know just a kid and you know busy with school and all kinds of other stuff with friends so you know that's that. But I would love to play them and play them in full before Prime 4 comes out. Um, I actually have the steelbook of Metroid Prime Trilogy right now for the Wii and it's one of my favorite steelbooks that I have and I always get the urge just to start it and start playing it but the reason why I've been holding off on doing it is because I am still waiting for that beacon of hope that we are going to get Metroid Prime Trilogy on Switch. So that's number two for my picks on my Nintendo Direct wish list. All right, so number three is a new Star Fox Adventures game. Now, this is an, an unpopular opinion to some people, but I love Star Fox Adventures on the GameCube. It's my favorite Star Fox game ever made. I've beat it countless times. I own a mint condition copy of it for my GameCube, and it took the series in a different direction. Now I know the whole, oh it was a different game and then they just took it and put the Star Fox name on it, yada yada yada, but you know what, that doesn't really bug me, because at the end of the day, I thought it was an incredible game. Um, it was an amazing experience playing as Star Fox and, you know, playing in the ships in between flying to the planets and, uh, 
you know, then getting off and walking around as Fox. Was there some stuff that could have made the game better? Absolutely. The whole staff thing was cool. It would have been nice so if they would have let you use Fox's gun, because I do believe that, you know, Fox's abilities and whatnot that he has should have been utilized better. Um, but I love it. Like, I know it has, like, a Zelda aspect, and Zelda's, like, my favorite franchise of all time, so that's definitely why I like it a lot. But it was a great game. I don't know why some people don't like it. I guess they just love traditional Star Fox, and that's fine. Uh, there definitely could have been more of that in this game, too, because I think there might have been only, what, like, maybe six missions where you're actually in the R-Wing? But it was beautiful. The graphics on it were great for the time. Um, you know, the gameplay was good. The story was great in it. So if they made another Star Fox game, like, it wouldn't have to be exactly like Star Fox Adventures. I would like to see maybe, like, you know, make a new Star Fox game and implement a lot more ship gameplay in the R-Wing and have a lot of land gameplay as well, where you're running around and, like, you know, if you could use all the powers that he has on, like, Smash Bros, like the quick dash move and, you know, shooting your gun and all that stuff and the reflect move and whatnot, then that would be super cool get some nice crisp graphics put a lot of work into it right maybe give it a little bit of breath of the wild treatment where it's like you know the next big thing from nintendo a nice big new star fox game because back in the day star fox on the nintendo 64 was awesome and you can talk to anyone who you know used to play nintendo 64 and they'll say that they loved star fox so i would love to see another star fox adventure style game released for the nintendo switch Number four on my direct wish list is Nintendo 64 games on the Nintendo Switch Online app. I love the Nintendo Switch Online app. I think it's great. Um, you know, we got the NES games. There's, there's pretty good selection there. And then we got the uh, Super Nintendo games uh, just this past September. And what's next? Nintendo 64. But I don't want to have to wait until September to get these titles on my Nintendo Switch. If the Nintendo Switch Online app even just, uh, you know, released with Nintendo 64 games, and then they had maybe, say, even just eight or ten titles to start. You know, give me my Zeldas, give me my Mario, give me my Star Fox, um, you know, maybe Banjo-Kazooie if they can work something out with Microsoft, that would be cool too. Give me my Donkey Kong uh, 64. That would be great. I don't want to have to hook up my Nintendo 64 every time I want to play these games. And I don't want to have to go back onto my Wii U and buy them for like the fourth time. So if they can do that, that would be totally awesome if we could get Nintendo 64 games on the Nintendo Switch Online app. And that's number four for my Nintendo Direct wish list. Alright, so finally we have number 5 for my Nintendo Direct wish list, and it's gotta be The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Remaster or Skyward Sword HD. They've already done the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD, and now it is the time to give us Skyward Sword HD on Switch. That game is the most underrated Zelda game of all time. I know everyone doesn't agree with the motion controls and whatnot, but to say that it's a bad game just because the motion controls didn't click with you is just wrong because the story in it and the dungeons and the items are some of the best ever in the Zelda franchise. And I don't really care if they could make it so that you can play the game with a traditional controller. Like that's cool and all and I would that's very appealing to me if they can do it, but I don't need that to enjoy the game. If they could somehow implement the gameplay with the Joy-Cons, that would be the best, I think, because I really enjoy using the Joy-Cons in handheld like that, like one in each hand. And even if they couldn't do that, you know, if they had to release the game and then charge like, you know, a little bit more money for it because it came with a specialized controller specifically just for that one game and it came in like a bigger box, that's fine by me as well. Just get me Skyward Sword HD on Switch and give it a good treatment. Like, similar to the Wind Waker HD treatment. I know that Twilight Princess was a pretty good treatment overall, and it does look a lot better than the GameCube version, but Wind Waker HD just looks phenomenal compared to the regular version. So, you know, try to make it a very good noticeable difference, even aside from just resolution. Make it, you know, pop and whatnot, and a little bit of new textures, and that would be great. 
Anywho though guys, that wraps up my Nintendo Direct wishlist for the first Direct, uh, or regular Direct of 2020. Uh, check me out on uh, Twitter at AnchorDown902, Instagram at AnchorDownGaming, and be sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the red button down there to subscribe in the uh, right corner, and hit the bell notification to stay up to date. Thank you to anyone helping me reach my goal of 100 subscribers, and everybody, have a great day.